Hey gang, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. I really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And I've had some requests uh, from some of the subscribers to keep everybody updated on the uh, the uh, walleye cheater. So I've got some more information with you guys. Uh, they were arrested here recently. I don't know if you all heard about it. So I'm going to go into that a little bit here. I know that this story has sort of blown out. A lot of people are probably getting tired of hearing about it, but I definitely think it's well worth the time to keep everybody updated because, man, this it's not only big news within the wildlife industry, but it just this puts such a black eye on the on competitive bass fishing that I, I really think we need to stay on top of it. But anyway, guys, these I guess these dudes were arrested here just a, the day or so ago and indicted, and I'm gonna sort of read you guys what what they got going on up against them. Okay, both of them, they were indicted on charges of cheating, attempted grand theft, uh, possessing criminal tools, which are all felonies. And they also have a misdemeanor charge against them for unlawfully owning wild animals. I'm not sure why uh, animal abuse isn't on there. I would definitely have included that. Chase Kaminsky and Jacob Runyon, obviously the two guys. Also, uh, their boat was seized along with their tackle and a trailer too. And I don't know if you guys know it, but these dudes were investigated by the Rossford police last April for cheating. And apparently they didn't have enough evidence to, uh, uh, you know, have any type of charges brought up against them. So obviously this has been going on for a long time. And also I think that one dude uh, was arrested for domestic violence or something this past summer. So, man, these are some, some slime bags for sure out there. Um, like I said, I, you know, I'll try to keep you guys updated on, on what happens to him with everything like this, but I'm certainly curious from you guys, what you guys think the penalty ought, ought to be on something like this. I mean, I know it ranges from the gamut. I think a lot of people wish they, the penalty was just them to be released in the middle of a walleye tournament weigh in and sort of let things happen as they may. Other people, you know, on the other, on completely on the other end of the spectrum. But I think a lot of it depends on, uh, you know, if they plead guilty or not. I mean, how good of lawyers they have, how good of a plea bargain. Um, I, you know, if they would confess to all their past cheating crimes, obviously these dudes have cheated before. There's, I mean, circumstantial evidence is overwhelming. Um, but maybe if they would confess to past cheating, uh, you know, there could be some type of a plea uh, uh, reached on that thing. But I don't see how these dudes get out of it without serving time, something like this. So I think that I think this story has blown up to such an extent on a global level that they're going to want to set an example for these two dudes. Uh, so it doesn't really happen again. But dang, it, like I said, it's, it, it's, it's, it's just aside from the fact of, of the of, of just the, the outrage of what they did and everything behind it. It's just like. Like I said, I'm just so irritated. There's two things that irritate me about this. Number one is just the abuse, the abuse of the fish, stuffing, stuffing balls that big of lead down their throats, and the image that it tarnishes competitive fishing. Because a lot of people out there that don't tournament fish, I mean, I, I, you guys probably too, a lot of you guys probably have had people that don't even fish ask you about this. This thing, everybody's heard about this. And a lot of these people that don't fish, they probably think we're just a bunch of Neanderthal cheating Neanderthals out here, and this is typical. I don't know, but it's not it's not good for competitive fishing whatsoever. But anyway, guys, they they've been arrested, they've been indicted. I don't know if they're out on bail. I'm, I'm I would imagine they're out on bail. I'm, I'm guessing, but uh, you know, this is a developing story, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So. Anyway, guys, appreciate uh, you guys checking the video out. We'll get back to some more hardcore hogging tips. I'll have another, I, I got a really good video coming up later today on weenie worming. So we'll get back to fishing tips. Um, but this is just sort of something that comes up once in a while we need to cover. So hope you guys are doing good. We'll talk to you later.